Okay, so what if you have a teacher that is mean, terrible, and gives you a distributed load that's not uniform, it's not linear, it's not from one height to another height, it is a function. It's some weird x squared value. It's getting, you know, the, it's pushing harder and harder as a squared value uh, the further you go to the left on this beam. Well, the magnitude, what, what did we learn? That the magnitude is the area of the loading. The, the location would be the centroid of the loading. So if we could, you know, I, what is this shape? It's not a triangle. It's not a rectangle. How can I get the area of this shape? If I know the curve, and the curve is a function, how can I get the area right, right here, right? This area under the curve? Right? Are you seeing that? How can I get the area under the curve? How do you get the area under uh, the curve of a function? The integral. So here the magnitude is going to be the integral of 60x squared. We're integrating it with respect to x as x goes from 0 to 2. All right? As x goes from 0 to 2. All right? So this is going to be pretty easy. The, the, the um, integral of 60x squared, let's see, what, what do I do when I take integrals? I add 1 to the exponent, divide it by the new exponent. So really, 20x cubed. And if I want to evaluate this from 0 to 2, plug in 2 and then subtract. What happens when I plug in 0? I, I get nothing. So this magnitude would be 160 newtons. All right? But where do we put it? Where do we put it? Uh, well, we've got two kind of options here. Uh, it, it's at the centroid. And if you know an equation for the centroid, then that is where we would put it. Um, later on in statics, we do centroids, and, and we'll find that the location of this, the x, the x location of the centroid is integral of x, f of x over integral f of x. Um, or we can think about it as, well, if I sum the moments about all these thousands of tiny little um, forces, um, that would have to equal the same as if, so the, the sum of the moments of lots of the forces would have to equal the sum of the moments of just one force, and where would I put it? And so here, instead of summing, we are integrating uh, the force, which is the function, times the um, distance, which is x. And this would equal the force, which we just found, 60x squared, times the distance d. Either way, this is what we would get. The distance d, which is really the distance x, it is away from here, x bar, integral x, f of x over integral f of x. And f of x is just the function. f of x is just the function. Let, let's do this. Let's do this problem. x bar would be the integral of 60x squared, but then but also times another x. It'd be the integral of 60x cubed over the integral of 60x squared as x goes from 0 to 2. Do you see that? You see, you, you just multiply an x times the function and take the integral of that. Divided by the integral of, of the usual one, which we've already done this one. We've already done this one is 160. 160. This one was already... 160 right there all right and so the top here would be 60x to the fourth over 4 evaluated from x equals 0 to x is equal to 2 plug that in and I'm getting an x bar of 1.5 meters that means if I'm measuring x from here I would go 1.5 and I would put it right here uh, did, did you notice that a triangular load, we would have put it at, you know, two-thirds right here, but a, an x squared, we would put it at three-fourths 
over here. I wouldn't memorize anything like that. That only happens with an x squared. If you go from zero to uh, zero to something, you'd put it at three fourths. Uh, but he, here it is. The location of the x centroid would be the integral of x f of x over integral of f of x. The magnitude is just the integral f of x. Right? The magnitude is just the integral of the function. Okay? Then one last thing, one last thing. What if we have I'll, I'll kind of a kind of a three-dimensional uh, distributed load? I don't I don't give much of most of these. This is really like a pressure. If we have a three-dimensional or like a pressure of the distributed load, what do you think the magnitude of the distributed load would be? In 2D, the magnitude of the distributed load is the area under the load. In 3D, the magnitude of the distributed load is, you could think of it as the volume under the loading. And think about that pressure as the height, and then you've got base right here. And is it a cube? That'd be easy. Is it a triangular, uh, uniform triangular prism? Is it some sort of pyramid? Uh, if you could find the volume under the loading, taking the pressure as the height of that shape, then you could get the magnitude, the location, is still the centroid. You, you know you can get the centroid of uh, a volume, uh, of a three-dimensional object. It's just, just where is the center of mass, or the center of gravity, where is the centroid of that volume? So in this case, um, this triangular 3D shape, its volume would be one-half base times height, 7,200, uh, a, a Pascal is a Newton per meter squared times 0.2. It's a uniform 0.2 right here. Uh, yeah, so there we would get Newtons 6480 Newtons, and it would be the center of a uniform triangle would be two thirds. It'd be right at the center line, and it would be two thirds of this nine. So it'd be six meters from there, three meters from the back. All right, so 3D, it's volume under loading, location of the centroid. If you got a function, the magnitude is the area, is the integral of the function from 0 to 2. The um, centroid is the integral of x times the function divided by the magnitude or the, the integral of the function. All right? Okay.